What's up everyone? Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Aditya Mulukuri, the host for Tats Podcast, the great feature for your bright future. Today, I'm going to tell you the Kakibo, the Japanese art of saving money. It's a spiritual and money management technique. So please try to uh, practice this technique and cha- change your life. Saving money is hard, really, really hard. However much you feel you are scrimping, you are always li- left with nothing more than a few pitiful dollars rattling around your account at the end of month, right? We hear you. A huge chunk of your pay, pay probably goes to rent. And then there are the bills and travel costs that eat away your precious pennies without you even noticing. Then there's that voice, that tiny niggling voice at the back of your mind says, Why brother, you will never afford a house anywhere. Treat yourself to that coconut flat white, white from the bread. You deserve it. Enter the Kakebo, a budgeting journal. At the latest, Japanese lifestyle trend to get people talking. The Kakebo was invented back in 1904 by Hani Motoko, Japanese first female journalist, and was designed to help busy women keeping on top of their finances. Now, the first English language Kakibo by writer Fumiko Chiba was just been released, so it's time to put it to work. The concept goes like this. At the start of the month, you sit down with Kakibo and you plan what you are going to spend, when you are going to save and what you need to do to reach your goals. You then review that you achieved sound simple, it is. Here's what you need to know. Number 1. We need to shift our focus from saving to spending. Yes, no problem. Spending is not the issue. Then you like this. Chiba explains that we need to reshape our attitude towards budgeting. We must spend well in order to save well and vice versa. We all work very hard in order to live and also enjoy things. Chiba tells us it's important to important to remember this fact when saving in other words if saving is all about what we can't do and can't have it's a chore and we are likely quit if it is become it if it become about budgeting meticulously so we can do that can have what we really want it becomes a much more inviting prospect number two writing things down will help keeping a cat Kakibo is all about recording your spending, but it's not enough to plug numbers into a spreadsheet. Putting pen to paper is a fundamental part of the practice. So much of our lives is lived on our phones or computer screens. Chiba says recording our finances online mimics the instantaneous way we spend money. The journal is one removed from this, and it gives us the space and time to look at our spending in detail. In this case, in this sense, Chiba says using a kakibo becomes a kind of mindfulness exercise. Our world is now so fast that everything can be bought and paid for very quickly. A kakibo helps us slow down and really consider what we be buy in calm, measured way. So at the beginning of the month, you need to figure out and write down how much money you actually have. Look at what you got from your salary to any freelance bits to the to that 20 euros of birthday money from your mom and lot it all up then take your fixed expenditure the stuff you have to pay like bills uh, and etc and take it away from your total amount easy enough this will leave you with a sum that you can choose to save or spend well don't worry if it is single figures right now we are just getting started Number 3. You need to be honest about your must and want. Using a kakibo is about decluttering your finances. If you have followed the last step, you know how much money is coming in and you know how much money is going out. So it's time to figure out how you are spending the rest and the ways you can do it better. The kakibo works by dividing your spending into categories and getting really specific about it. For example, one category would be takeaways. The things listed here could run the gamut from a full-blown delivery night to a quick takeaway coffee that slipped your mind as soon as you guzzled 
be rigorous once you know where your money is going you can sort your must from your wants what you absolutely need and what you can survive without sure we all need to eat that's a must but let's be honest the lunch time it's a habit is a big old want and sure clothes are must too but just really equate to spending all your spare money in top shop chiba advises to realize your must write down things that would be wrong if you did not spend on them these are usually cost to not go away from month to month like food by looking at your spending in chunks rather than a never ending bill you can identify the areas you may be able to cut so this is today's episode hope i can with some validated content for you thank you for listening i am aditya murkuri the host of tax podcast signing off peace